Hey guys, Akshay here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple Hello World module in Drupal 8. So as you can see, I already have a Drupal 8 site installed, and we're going to get right into it. So under the Drupal directory right here, you see that there is a modules folder. So go in here and let's create a folder for our module named hello underscore world, and this will serve as our machine name for the module. In here, we're going, we're going to have to define some parameters. So this is going to be defined under hello underscore world dot info dot yml. This is a file that's going to be written in the YAML language, which is, which is basically many keys and values. So we're going to set a name for our module to be hello world. And this is going to be a type of module and give it a description of, let's say, say hello world. And it's going to be under the package of custom. And we're going to see this later in the admin panel. And it's going to work with the 8.x core of Drupal. So let's save this file and go into the extend page in Drupal. And we should see our module listed here. So here we go under the custom package. We see hello world, say hello world, and our machine name is hello underscore world. So let's enable this module. Great, it's been enabled. So module hello world has been enabled. Next, we need to define the routes which will activate our module. So to do this, create a new file called hello underscore world dot routing dot YML. Now here we're going to have a key with our machine name, so hello underscore world and next tab everything else and if the path hello slash world is accessed we're going to set some defaults for which controller should be accessed so now all classes in Drupal 8 are going to be namespace so we're going to write out this whole class name it's going to be Drupal slash hello underscore world slash controller slash what the name of our class is going to be. So this is going to be hello world controller colon colon hello. So the hello method in the hello world controller is going to be called whenever the hello slash world path is accessed. Next we're going to have to set some requirements and this is basically permissions. So to view this page, you will need to have the access content permission. Now you may notice that some of these values have quotes and some don't. Well, in the YAML language, it's not really necessary. However, you can use it if you want to, and to be safe, always use it. In this case, I'll just use it for access content to show that it works. So save it, and now let's move on to creating our controller. So under the hello world, create a new folder called src. This is our source folder and where all the code to this module will live. Under here, create another folder named controller. This is where all our controllers are going to be. Now, if you wanted to add forms to your module, you would create a form folder and your, all your forms would go under that. So in the controller, we're going to create what we defined here, hello world controller. So this is exactly what we're going to name the file, hello world controller.php, click enter, open it up, and let's start the PHP tag, go down a few lines, and create our class, hello world controller, and here we have defined our class. So next we need to namespace this, as I talked about before, Drupal 8 uses namespacing to standardize and specify which classes you are using. So we need to put this under the namespace of Drupal slash hello world slash controller. So copy this, and let's type it up here, namespace, paste, and there we go. We have set the namespace. Next, we're going to have to create that hello method that we mentioned here. So let's do that. You can do public function hello, and this is going to return a render array. So Drupal, you can either return symphony responses which Drupal is built on top of, or you can return render arrays, which Drupal will handle 
and at theming2 and things like that. So let's return an array and let's give it the keys of title, which will equal hello world and another key of markup. And this will just be the contents of um, the page that we're going to see. And this can just be this is some content. And let's save this and let's go to our route. So Drupal slash hello slash world. Click enter and let's see our module. Whoa, page not found. Okay, so this is a pretty standard issue in Drupal with the cache. So let's go ahead and clear the cache with something called Drupal console. So Drupal console is an easy way to use your website and manage things through the command line. So to install this, let's use these commands. Let's first download it. Then let's move it to our binary folder. Permission denied, let's do sudo. And then give it executable permissions. And that's all we need to do. So as you can see, if you want to test this out, Drupal list, and you can see all the commands that you can use with Drupal console. And the one in specific we're going to use right now to rebuild the cache is Drupal router rebuild. Enter that and it should rebuild the router. Now if you don't have Drupal console, you can obviously go to configuration, scroll down to performance, and click clear all caches. However, as you can see, that took way too long and Drupal router rebuild was much faster. So I definitely recommend getting Drupal console. And let's refresh our hello world page. And we get access denied. Okay, so let's go back to our routing file and see what happened. Aha, I misspelled requirements. There we go, requirements. Let's save that and let's rebuild the router one more time. Refresh this page. And there you go. Hello world is our title and this is some content is our markup. So there you go guys, your first Drupal 8 module, hello world, it was pretty easy. And uh, that's it, so if you want to learn more about Drupal 8 modules, go ahead and check out some of my other Drupal 8 tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.